said that uh, there's not going to be any haircuts on the principal. However, uh, 200 cities today will not be the same as 200 cities in the next four to five years. So the real value of money when you calculate uh, using inflation as well as uh, exchange rate depreciation, clearly you see that you would lose some money uh, on your principal. So these are the modalities that government has brought forth. Uh, following from that, there's been a bit of agitation from teacher unions, Nats, Nagwad, raising concerns about their pension funds and saying that, listen, we don't want you to use our pension funds in this manner. Now, it brings it to sharp focus, the issues that the finance minister had raised prior to setting up this five-member committee uh, headed by Mr. Simon Donu. Indeed, the finance minister has said that this was going to be a market-led uh, initiative meaning that there was going to be wider consultation amongst all the stakeholders, the pensioners, not only the banking industry or the finance industry, but major stakeholders. It doesn't appear that much consultation was done. We're learning that only today the finance minister is meeting the, meeting the majority side of parliament. So uh, I wonder why the finance minister had to announce this program before meeting up with the majority side in parliament. There was supposed to be a wider consultation for input from every major stakeholder to get that wide accept acceptability because in exchange programs all over the world they're not matters to be taken lightly these are legal matters you know contractual obligations between the government and its investors and so essentially what government is saying is that we cannot you know fulfill our part of the financial obligation we need you to help us to be able to manage the situation and so you need that broader consultation you need inputs from from all these people now there's a possibility that government decision or actions could be challenged in the law courts, but to what extent? I mean, we're in a crisis situation, we need to manage the situation, we need to have an IMF program in record time to save this economy. If government is challenging courts, what's going to happen is that by, by April next year, government is going to default on its debt. And that is not what investors want. They want to be able to have a win-win situation. So it's a pretty difficult time for a lot of people, a lot of investors. Um, I would imagine only yesterday um, our report suggests that um, a lot of investment banks as well as uh, you know, banking holds have been flooded by, by customers who had come in to withdraw their funds. It's a pretty precarious situation. We are in uncharted territories. This is probably the first time such a thing is happening and we'll need everybody to play his or her part in seeing to the uh, total uh, fruition of this policy.